does culture have an, inf an influence on the way we hear the voice of God? For instance, the culture in, in time past um, may have, you know, transformed or you know, changed over the years. Now, the change in the culture, does it have an influence on how people will hear the voice of God? Uh, in, an, in a sense, in, in the Old Testament, uh, the, the priest would have the Urim and the Thummim. And the Urim and the Thummim were two ways in which they, they determined what to do. So David is going to battle. He will ask, should I go? Uh, should I pursue? Should I not? The Urim and the Thummim basically is yes, no. Do, don't. That role is now taken over by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does, is not worn by the priest. The Holy Spirit is within the believer. And he is the one who gives you the impression, go or not to go. Um, so in every culture, our understanding of every reality, whether spiritual reality or natural reality, is based on how we have also uh, been exposed in, in culture. For example, if you come from a fetish world where the fetish priest gives a message by getting into a frenzy, you know, he's shaking all around and uh, frothing and then gives a message, you may then begin to associate that if God is speaking, that is how it should also be. There has to be a frenzied way of speaking. But uh, the, the normal biblical way that God speaks to us is not by taking over a person and manipulating the person, but is, is gently nudging us uh, as to where to go or where not to go. And it is not frenzied. It's, it, God works with us, with our personalities as we are, and gives us the right indications of what to do and what not to do.